Hey guys, Brian here with another Clash of Clans video and welcome to top 5 Town Hall Level 10 farming bases. For this first base, we have a base submitted to me by Dub War. Um, he says this base has been working out pretty well for him and by the looks of it, it looks really, really good. Now for the top um, 5 Town Hall Level 10 series, all of these bases look pretty strong so I didn't rate them in my personal favorite, I'll leave that up to you guys. Um, but starting off with this base, we have a centralized clan castle which is great. Inferno towers covering most of the base, expos stretching up all the way around, and the way it's designed as far as compartments go is just like amazing. This base looks great. If you look at the um, gold storage and the elixir storage, they're in separate compartments, and there's just a whole mess of traps and layers of walls to get through to get to them. If somebody attacks you from this side, they're probably going to get lured towards this archer tower, and a whole bunch of defenses are just going to rain down on them and it's not going to be fun pretty much two mortars are going to be reaching them at all time um it's just going to be a struggle for anyone trying to get in there let's see two mortars are going to be reaching there and then you're going to have an archer tower cannon a tesla inferno tower it won't be all the way reaching but you probably have two expos or so on you um, by the time you get to one and it's just an overall great base i love the way the wizard towers are spread out too each one is like covering its own section which is awesome so I think Town Hall Level 10 will work really, really well for um, farming bases. And uh, yeah, thank you Dev War for submitting me this base. And uh, let's go ahead and move on to the second base. Alright guys, here we are with base number 2. Now looking at this base, it does have its key strengths and its key weaknesses, just like all bases. Um, the gold storages on this base are going to be very, very well protected. You can see the Inferno Towers are covering pretty much all of them. Um, as well as the mortars. You got all four mortars here. This one's a little bit out of place though. I don't like that. I guess you could replace it if the, uh, with the clan castle if you really needed to. However, I think it's pretty good that you have this one outside just to protect you from a little bit extra barge. Um, that's something that this base is going to be pretty weak to along the outsides is barching. And I think that your elixir storages are a little exposed. Um, however, I picked this base just for the gold storage protection. Another weakness of this base is looking where the heroes are they are along the outsides and that's not really going to do much for you there um i do think that the center of this base though is just really really strong and it's going to get the job done with protecting the gold which is what a lot of people want to protect so i like this base um pretty strong it does have its weaknesses though so a little bit weak but it did make it in here and let's go ahead and move on to the next base guys here we are with base number three now this base is just amazing like looking at this base i think this is my favorite base out of the five um, it is just really well laid out with the fourth mortar. You have a four compartment design on the interior with your storages and on the outside you have four compartments with extra defenses to cover all those areas and each corner is also protected with a bunch of traps and a, some defenses on the top and bottom. But looking at this base you can tell the inferno towers just have really good coverage in the center. I might put my Teslas at the top, I don't know, you can switch that out guys, it's up to you guys. I haven't done any defensive replays on this um, base yet, but if I moved my Teslas to the top I th and bottom, I think that might be a little bit more effective, seeing as how I do have the Inferno Towers on the left and the right side. Your heroes are in the center, your clan castle isn't completely centralized, but if you really want to, you can go ahead and switch that out with the dark elixir storage and you would have it in the center um, but overall I think this base is really really well laid out and it is one of my favorites um, but let's go ahead and move on to base number four All right, guys what is up here we are with base number four now this base is not the strongest one out of the bunch however this is gonna be good for you new town hall level tens if you guys are rushed or you just need to look for a base that and you're getting barged a lot this is gonna be the base um, to do it. As you can see, a lot of the mortars are on the outside, and that's going to stretch to the outside of the bases. So, anyone who's going to barge you, which this base is going to be very tempting for people who are barching because you have a lot of buildings on the outside, um, this base is going to do it for you. On the inside, looking at your storages, they're not really too separated here. You got the gold storage along with the elixir storage. However, those are protected with the inferno tower. And then at the top, you're going to have a bunch of defenses protecting the gold storages up here, as well as a couple layer of walls for the elixir storages down here. So you lower level town hall level 10s need to look at this base probably. It could be good for the higher levels. However, I think the previous base or the first base was probably better for that. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the final base, you guys guys here we go with the fifth and final base now looking at this base you can see it has a centralized clan castle which is very nice it has very good layout with the teslas which pretty much 
cover all of the storages, which is very nice. The Expos are reaching all the way across the base, and it does have the mortars stretching out for anybody who's going to barge you. And another thing I really like about this base is there's not very many buildings on the outside. So when people attack you, they are committing to going through those walls and trying to get to those storages, which comes into one of the big weaknesses of this base, which is the traps. I couldn't really find a place to put the traps, so I had to lay them down along the outside. I do have the giant bombs in this compartment, but it sort of leaves this side exposed, um, the left side and the, I guess, top right side and the bottom left side. Um, the heroes are in there to do a little bit more protection. However, I think that's not going to be enough. So if I were to attack this base, I would probably attack from either the bottom or this side over here or the top side over here so this base does have its strengths it also has a weak, um, its weaknesses but that's gonna wrap up our top five town hall level five farming bases I hope you guys enjoyed I will definitely do another episode of this as the bases evolve and become better and stronger um, I think base number one and base number three were pretty strong so thank you dub war for doing that one and then the other one I found during matchmaking um, I'm if you guys have seen these bases before remember that it's really hard to find a uh, Clash of Clans base that's original, so if I didn't give credit to somebody and they made the base, I apologize. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Let's see if we can hit 1,200 likes. I'm going big on this one. 1,200 likes on this video, and you guys like, comment, subscribe, and take it easy.